morning or afternoon depends what time you're watching this evening perhaps anyway sleeping angler back been away for a few weeks we're at biddlestone pool again i've been here since this morning i've um fished for a few hours before i made the first recording anyway we've had two fish already an eight and a 13 i'm hoping to get a few more just for a day session hopefully i might do a night session next week and do another video but who knows anyway so we've had an eight and a 13 which were not bad fish but that were all i was catching last week of telegraph so um Let's see what we can get. Hopefully we can get Buddha or one of the twenties at least. Let's try our best anyway. Let's go on a fish. There we are. Fish number three. It's still a bit disappointed I didn't record the first two, but trust me they were caught. Here there was an eight, thirteen. This one's just over an eleven. He's not bad, he's not massive, but he's a fish. Rain starts to feel like it's coming in now, so hopefully we'll get a few more bites. We have too early on, it's been a bit quiet for the next few hours. I know I've had this one, we'll get this one back in. Hopefully, have something a bit better, but you know, plenty of time. Look at my watch, which I'm not actually wearing. <coughs> Fish number four, different spot this time. I'll talk to the spots in a minute. Got me around about the 10 pound mark. It's probably about 10 pound. Give or take, either way, a few ounces, but didn't bother weighing it. Anyhow, let's get that back on the spot. That one was off the island, the other three have been from the margin. Let's get it back out and try and get a few more fish. Fish number five, back in that margin spot again. over common just over 10 pound another one not looking really decent today yet a 13 was all right so, let's keep them coming a couple more hours to go hopefully we have something better we'll see A little look where we're catching from. I had one on a strawberry boilie just off the island, just uh, just cast out with a PVA mesh with some pallets and a crumbled up boilies for maybe 15 freebies tossed over the top. All the others, the fourth one <laughs> from that tree over there, just doing the left hand margin, just dropped a uh, complex tea boily just under the tree and a scatter of three bee boilies over the top nothing else that's produced four fish and I think I've lost two from there too as well as for my third rod is in the right hand margin off that bush that has done nothing well I had one run off it and lost it but that hasn't produced yeah, and the far banks are 
not had a bad trip. I think he's had seven or eight, but he's been here 24 hours. I don't think he had much in the first uh, day. He's had a few today. But uh, that seems to be the hot spot down there. Let's hope it produces something else before I go home. I'm going to change my bird rod up. Basically, just try a different body. Put it in the same spot. But uh, swap the strawberry body for a pink strawberry crush body. And you can do it. It's as simple as rig as you could ever want to use. But, um, the other margin is produced for fish fish in the same way. Use that complex D on that one, but we're gonna put this one down the other margin. See if I have any luck, because I haven't had any, had any, haven't had any fish, should I say, on this rod. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. Instant action, strawberry crush, 15 millimeter, 50 mil. Get some bait on top of that rig. Simple as that, let's uh, hope that produces a fish. Could do with one more, a nice one as well. So, wish me luck. I knew it wouldn't take very long with our new bait out there and a decent head of bait on top of it. Within, it's probably been about half hour, we've got one on the bank. Another one, probably about, probably about 10 pounds, probably. Bird. That's fish number six. Still not the fish I'm looking for though, but let's get this one back and hope for another. Just packing up. Rod went off again. Left hand rod. Uh, last common. Weed. Just uh, pretty much smack on 18 months and I back on. It's, uh, look at the other side. You can see he's got a big gut on him. He's a bit of a fatty. Anyhow, nice fish. Biggest of the day. It's my fourth 18 out of here this year. And fortunately, I still haven't had that 20, but. He's a nice fish, and um, I think that's going to be it. So, but unless I have any more on the other two rods when I'm packing up, that'll be it. That's fish number seven. So, pretty good day in consideration. Anyway, let's get him back in. <laughs> uh, there was. No more fish, so it was seven in all. The 18 pounder being the biggest, but it was a pretty good day. And I just got home, and I'm gonna go in and eat my KFC. So, uh, see you all again sometime. Ta da!